Hello everyone, Blue Knight here, and welcome back to a quick Sonic the Hedgehog update video. So, in my last video, I went over all the information that we knew about the upcoming Sonic Prime cartoon that's arriving next year. Well, in that same video, I talked a little bit about Roger Craig Smith stepping down from his role as Sonic himself after initially keeping the role for about 10 years. I also brought up how Sega could be at the phase where they're wanting to do a full recasting of the series, just like the last time they did it back in 2010 with Sonic Freeriders. And... Yeah, that appears to be happening. Because after posting that video, more voice actors from the series started to confirm that they were departing the series. Cindy Robinson, for instance. She is the current, well, now former, voice of Amy Rose. She announced her departure over on Twitter. With Mike Pollock, the voice of Dr. Eggman since 2003's Sonic X, responded to Cindy's tweet about leaving the series, and now everyone's concerned that Eggman is going to be recasted after all these years. And that's actually a weird thing to say, because Mike Pollock is actually the best voice Eggman has ever had. Heck, he's like the perfect fit for the character, which is, I guess, the primary reason he stuck around for so long, despite multiple recastings that the series has had over the years. Now, to be clear, unlike Cindy Robinson's tweet, Mike does not outright confirm anything. So let's not jump to conclusions just yet, because for all we know, he may still keep the role as Eggman. We'll just have to wait and see how that goes. But then there is one other VA that has kind of semi-confirmed their departure from the series, and that's Colleen O'Shaughnessy. I apologize if I butchered her name. She's the current voice actress for Miles Tails Prowler, but she will not be reprising her role as Sonic's sidekick in the upcoming Sonic Prime cartoon. Note that she only says the cartoon, nothing about the games or the Sonic movie sequel. So it's possible that she may stick around for everything else, just not the cartoon. But given how Sega likes to have all the voices kind of synced between the games and the cartoons, Sonic Boom being a good example, it doesn't really make sense when we think about it. Now, despite these recastings, we did have some more back in 2019 with Team Sonic Racing, where Blaze the Cat's previous voice actress, Laura Bailey, was replaced with Erica Lindbeck, who also voiced Black Cat in Marvel's Spider-Man. Dave Mitchell replaced Travis Willingham as Knuckles the Echidna. Now, I do understand that both Bailey and Willingham left for personal reasons, so that wasn't necessarily due to Sega deciding to recast characters. In the case of Silver the Hedgehog, though, Quentin Flynn, who perfected Silver's voice in Sonic Forces, was strangely swapped out for Bryce Pappenbrook, which went in the exact opposite direction that Forces did. Does anyone but you believe your lies? Good to see you, Blaze. I noticed you got the same mysterious invitation that I did. So I'm hoping that they can get someone else that sounds a bit more how Silver sounded in Forces, if they can't get Quentin Flynn back. Now, I have no idea if these free voice actors will retain their roles as their respective characters, or if they're going to get recasted along with the current cast. We have no idea. Heck, we still don't know if Shadow's voice actor, Kirk Fortin, or Ruse's voice actress, Karen Strassman, will retain their roles as their respective characters either. But they'll likely get changed too, if Sega already has a major recasting in mind. Heck, even Ken Pontac and Warren Graff are seemingly leaving after 10 years of writing for the series, starting with Sonic Colors all the way to Team Sonic Racing. So I'm guessing all this stems from Sega trying really hard to fix Sonic's identity as a franchise, on top of having longer development times for higher quality Sonic games. Just think about it. Sonic Forces released in 2017, and here we are in 2021. So if we're expecting a brand new Sonic game, it's likely been in the works since Sonic Forces launched. Now, before ending the video, I just have this to say. Some of these current voice actors for characters like Amy, Tails, and Eggman are the best voices these characters have ever had, especially with the help of Sonic Boom improving these said voices. So replacing at least some of them doesn't exactly make sense, but if we can get Shadow, Rouge, or even Knuckles to sound closer to how they did in 2006, I would be okay with that. But still, one thing remains clear. The Sonic voice cast is being recasted again. How good 
will the new voices be for the characters? Whoever the new voice actors will be? Is just something we're gonna have to wait and see about. But that's about all I really got for this video. As usual, be sure to let me know what you guys think about the Sonic recast situation down in the comment section below, and also don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell to stay up to date on all things Sonic. And once again, thank you all so much for watching and for support. I've been Blue Knight, and I'll see you guys back here next time. What?